one. Go ahead, grab. Here. Slightly this way. You're grabbing. Throw myself, step out. All right? Now watch. Push, 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 grab. Now, wrap. Now I'm essentially just going to roll over this leg and sit down. And now I'm on top. I start to go through, and as I start to go through, I look for that leg. All right, guys, so uh, we're getting ready to start class here. We still have a few minutes before uh, it's time, so I wanted to go ahead and get, it, get logged into the live video stream, let it get out there, sending information to everybody, telling us that we're on. Um, so if you're watching this, do me a favor, and uh, don't just click the like button, do that, but also make a comment. Uh, whether it's just hi or hello, tell me your favorite move. It doesn't matter. It just helps us cheat the, law, the, the algorithm, right? That's what we're always trying to do. Um, we got a couple people on. Let me see who I can say hi to. I see Nick. I see Logan. How you guys doing? I'm glad to see you. I'll, I'll hit the wave button. I'm allowed to wave at you. I see Jessica. How are you doing, Jessica? Heather says hi. You're allowed to talk, Heather. So I think the camera's slightly cattywampus. I'll try to adjust that a little bit. I'll give you guys a view of the academy here. Check this out. Well, we're going to go on the academy tour. Um, so here's the wall, the back wall. You can see all the chairs and stuff are gone. Speakers are coming out tomorrow, but everything's gone over there. It's a little melancholy, but it's for good reasons, right? It's going to be super exciting when we come back. All right, who else? Seven, what time do I got here? I got 5.55. Okay, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Um, guys, any make sure to ask any questions you might have um, in the comments here so that uh, I have to, you know, if you, if you know questions now, think of them. And then put them in there, and I'll try to go through these comments in a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Howdy, Bill and Heather. Dustin Morris is watching. All right. So we're going to be doing some self-defense today, and we're going to connect that, self-defense from the back. We're going to connect that to techniques I use all the time on the ground. Um, and I think making those connections is a really important part of getting good at jiu-jitsu. So the first thing though we're going to do is warm up, especially because we're going to be falling. So Heather, I'm going to have you lay down and uh, actually I'll tilt the camera so we can see it a little easier for this. I'll keep adjusting the camera as I need to, guys. So Heather, the first thing I'm going to have you do is you're, you'll be here like this. I tell you what, yeah, uh, if you um, turn and face, face that direction, I can be this angle and you can be that angle. And we're just going to shrimp in place, so shrimp the hips, and then right back to your spot. And again, the other side. Remember, guys, try to get those butts off the ground. There should be no space underneath those hips. It's going to be upas over the shoulder, so you'll come up, touch with the opposite hand. Guys, really focus on driving those hips high as you do this, almost like you're trying to get your hips above your knees. Okay, 
So the next thing I want to work on is a forward roll. Now many of you are watching from an apartment, a small room in your house. So you know, the question is, how do you do like this big movement of a forward roll? Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm basically sitting on a line right now. I can do a forward roll pretty much and land on the line. I moved slightly forward, but as I did, I brought myself back. And that's something to get good at, something to work on. And it's gonna be very helpful in the move we're gonna to do today, right? All right, so again, forward roll. Look, it's like a little standing base at the end to shift back to that starting position. So I really only need like a four by four area and you can do it too. Same thing with a backward roll. See? So that's something I work on. Heather, your turn. He's so, he's so graceful. I, on the other hand, We'll see the modified version right here. There we go. As Kendall says, you take your hand behind. Good, good, and then back to the start, yeah. Yep, try to control how far forward you go. More it of a side roll. becomes a side roll. More of a side roll. So here's the, here's the answer to that. If I find myself, as I go into my forward roll, if I find myself falling to my hip, yeah. and my hip hits the ground, that means I didn't tuck enough, okay? So I need to tuck like I'm, like I'm going to, I, I don't know, like grab my belt from behind, like through my legs and grab the belt. And then you push with that foot here. Push. Try. So something that'll help, let's, let's do this again. If you're rolling over your right shoulder like you are right now, pick up your left leg instead. Because your right leg's your driver. Yeah, there you go. Put that left hand on the ground. Good. Talk more though. Keep working on it. If you notice something with me, I'm always guarding my lower back. Yeah. I'm not good tucker. All right. Guys, I'm sorry the camera's cattywampus. It's not working well for me today. Okay. So, make sure we're on camera. Yeah, we're good. So, we're going to do two moves, self-defense moves, that you guys have probably seen a lot. In fact, one we practice every single class, and that's the bear hug from behind with the scoop. Then we're going to show how those connect to moves on the ground and put it all together. So, you've seen this one. Go ahead, grab. Here. All right, so let's look at how that happens. Let's turn this way, please. First thing I'm doing is lowering my center of gravity. This is kind of a natural response to getting grabbed anyway. I'm gonna shoot my hips out, and then I'm gonna step behind. Now I want Heather to end up like uh, balancing on my leg. So as I come down and I lift, she's sitting on my leg. I'm not holding her up. She's just supported by my leg. And now I just slide her off of that leg to put her on the ground. So it's not like I'm hoisting those legs up. I'm pushing her onto my thigh, and then the legs become very light. That's really important. And what I see sometimes, I'm trying to think the best angle here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the best angle is. Let's try this one right here. Here, go ahead, grab. Here. Stay there, don't move. There's space between my leg and her, her leg. And I see people trying to do it from here. It won't work, because you're just trying to pick them up with your arms. That's not gonna work. What really should be happening, of course my head would be in front, is I should be pushing her back and making her weight sink onto that leg. And that's what helps you lift her up. I'll show again. Kendall calls it the creepy Santa Claus. Whoa. <laughs> here. My leg's touching hers, my elbow pushes into her, and now as she sinks onto me, it's easy to lift her up. Let's do it again from a different angle. So look, this arm pushes into her as I rotate. Now her weight's sitting on my thigh as I lift her. Boom! Dot the eye, always dot the eye, guys. 
You thought you were going to get away with that dotted eye. Wrong. All right, let's see what questions we have on this. Such massive leg strength. You're not wrong, Greg. I noticed it myself. Hi, Laura. Looking at these. Dan, what's up? Katie, what's up? Carl. Love you guys. Hey, for any of you who uh, maybe tried to log in in the class uh, via the text message you should have got, um, it, pr it probably gave you like an error. Um, if it did, that's fine. Or it probably sent you to Facebook. But you still got logged for the class, even if you had to then go, well, I'm just going to use the app and click the Facebook app and come in. So make sure you just click that link. I'm going to try to get it like a better, a better way for it to work. But that's what we've got for now. All right, so that was the first move. Bear hug from behind here. Uh, step hit back, grab, sink them in the middle. Then we have a second variation, a bear hug if she doesn't have my arms. So if she comes up, grabs right here, I'm going to try to put my weight to the ground. So I'll shift her here, um, mainly because I want her low. Like up here, lift me up. She can't lift me up anyway, right? So she's, if she wants to lift me up, she's go ahead and lift me up. She's gonna go low, yeah, okay. You don't have to actually do it, good. So your hands go low, boom. That's where they're gonna be to lift me up. Now I'm gonna throw myself to the ground and step to the outside. Here, keep a hold of me up. Okay, and what happens when you do this is her leg centers on yours. It centers on your butt. So one more time, let's turn slightly this way. You're grabbing, throw myself, step out. All right, now watch, push, 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 grab. Now, I stay 90 degrees to her. I'm not in the same line as her like this. I'm not pulling her leg through my groin. I'm pulling it across my massive, strong thighs, Greg. Pull, little knee bar action. So she grabs, boom, down, grab, drop. See how she fell sideways anyway? And now my thigh is pressing in just above the kneecap as I pull and wait for a loud, wet popping sound. All right. Let's look at that from a different angle. Um, maybe here. So that's an option. Now I'm going to be honest with you about this move. I've taught it for a long time, but it doesn't always work against um, like wrestlers or people who know what they're doing back there. It's for someone who's just trying to lift you up. Okay, that's what it's designed to be. If you get picked up, you can throw your weight forward and go back to the ground. What's up, Casey? Good to see you. What's up, Cindy? Guys, don't forget to log in through the text message you got. Uh, you just click the, the, the uh, link on it, and then it'll say, like, click here to, to register or something, and then your, your attendance is marked automatically through Spark. Don't worry about where it sends you after that. I know that there's an error there, but your, your attendance is still counting, so that's cool. Um, all right. So my goal today is to show you how these two moves, these two bear hug defenses, uh, kind of connect to moves that you may be more interested in or more more uh, focused on, and that's, that's from the ground, from the turtle position, so check it out. Let's uh, adjust the camera first. All right, so, whoa, it's all catty wampus again. I can't see it, so I can't help you. That's better. A little bit lower. What'd you say? So a caddy waffles on their hip. Okay. Yeah, we're good here. Let's talk about this position. Heather, I'm going to have you go to turtle first, and let's put your knees on this line. Perfect. So remember what I said about turtle position. Um, you want all your toes planted, your knee off the ground, control of the far thigh. So this is my basic control position. My thigh along hers. I'm slightly behind her. I want to stay slightly behind um, until I attack the neck, all right? 
all my weight is going into her, and this hand pries the thigh out so it's hard for her to regard. So that's the situation we're, awesome, you did awesome. That's the situation we're dealing with. Now we're gonna be the person there. The question is, how do we get out, all right? The first thing, the first thing is to understand what they need. So if I know that they need their hip behind mine, and I know that they want to pry my hand out, if I can prevent those things from happening, they're, they're going to have a rough time controlling side or controlling uh, turtle. So come over here, please. So if like while I'm turtling, I just uh, like start to grab my hip, boom, I just, I'm just like that. I can just always just turn, right? And that's that's kind of the idea. If you think of it as like a, an escape from side control. Um, and I frame and I start to turtle. The idea isn't to get here and stop. It's to keep going and end up in like a guard, all right? It's not the one I wanna go over today, but I want you to understand that concept. It's laziness that makes us stop there. We're like, okay, I'm out of side control. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Like you feel like the danger's gone, but now they've got your neck, they've got your back. Danger zone. You need to go all the way to guard if you're gonna do that or stand. Standing is also an option. Let's look though at some more specific techniques. So if I can get my hip behind hers, I can essentially do that same bear hug defense. Let's do it, well, we'll do it a bunch of different angles. So I'm down here and she's got her good position because I messed up. I'm gonna try to get this leg behind hers and I'm gonna base it up. You'll see the base from a different angle, but I'm gonna shift away, come up, wrap. Now I'm essentially just going to roll over this leg and sit down. And now I'm on top. Let's look at this from a different angle. Actually, I'm going to forward because then we're going to end up off of it. Okay, so we're here. Oh, always defending the neck, of course. I shift my hip away and back. Wrap. See this leg? See how I have the toes pointed? Ballet toes here. That's so that I can just sit my hip over, then she's in side control, or bottom side control. Let's do it from uh, this angle. So you'll be over here. Good, controlling, look. Make sure you keep that arm control. If they're on your neck, defend the neck. You've got it, you've, neck always comes first. Boom, here, back, around. See that base foot over there? My knee is up. Now as I sit, she just comes off of me. So that's a great way to deal with this. Let's see what we got. Deshaun, what's up, brother? How's New York, my man? Hope you're, I hope you're healthy. Uh, no, no new questions since the last one. All right, cool. So that's a really good one. Um, I like that escape a lot, um, but there's another one that connects to the other back issue. So can, I hope you can see how this escape, going one, two, is very similar in mechanic to the other one. The only difference is because we're not standing, I can't balance her on my legs, so I just fold, her, fold down and put her on her back. I take her behind me instead. And sometimes I see that happen where from the standing position, you're like, boom, and you just throw them backwards instead. That's perfectly valid. Um, all right. The next option I want to look at is actually when they're, they kind of come more behind you. So actually, Heather, you be me again. So, so sometimes just to make sure that, they, that you can't get your hip behind them, they, they stay real low back here. Okay? This is the situation we're going to deal with now. So as opposed to beside you and heavy, they're behind you. And there's a proper way to do this and an improper way. If you remember the back taking class, I'm gonna have you turn about 45 degrees. And you don't have to, don't worry about making things uncomfortable. If you remember when we took the back from here, I put this foot over her leg, okay? As I started to work and take the back, boom, right? And the reason I did that is to avoid the move that we are about to do, okay? So there's a reason behind all these things. All right, so now we can trade. You can hear my kids in the background. 
All right, so she's more behind me this time, so this is more probably back. Yeah, like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, because I'm free in my shoulders, my neck is relatively safe here. So I'm going to look through my legs. I can see her knee. If I can see her knee, I can attack her knee. So I will roll forward, but look, I don't go this way to roll forward. I lift up and go under myself. This is why learning to, to, to roll in a small space is really important. Because if I always have to roll forward, this move is gonna be really hard. But if I can pivot underneath my own body, this move becomes easy, all right? There shouldn't be any weight on your neck. It should all go over your shoulder. So I come under and I grab that leg. Now, Heather did a weird fall, so I would switch to, to the ankle lock. But typically what happens is people will go, they'll base down. They don't want to put their back on the ground. So, one more time. So put your knee down. There we go. So, come through, grab. That's normally what happens right there. And look, I can sometimes force that to happen by pushing here. See this foot? Pushes right in her armpit. And now I'm in a good position start attacking the knee bar. So, let's look at that from a different angle. Um, probably this way. And I think backing up a little bit. Right. So I'm down. I feel her knee between my legs. All right. I'm, I'm cognizant of my neck but she's far away from it, so I don't have to worry as much. I look, I can see her knee. I'm gonna roll under, reaching in to grab. Which arm do I roll on? The inside arm, whatever side she's on. She's mostly on my right side, I'm gonna roll over that arm. If she was on the other side, I'd roll over the other arm. In other words, roll so that you end up outside of her, not underneath her. Okay, so I start to go through, and as I start to go through, I look for that leg. So I've got it now. From here, I pinch, and I want to end up on my side. Hold the leg, make a Y frame, and then swim through. This gives me the, the uh, super uh, knee bar. Now I just pinch the feet in, and I drive my hips forward to the tap. We'll do that from multiple angles. Um, so that was... Me facing that way, it's doing me facing this way now. Because I think that'll end up a better version for the knee bar. So in here, grab. So I pushed on her armpit to make sure that she couldn't roll. Come through. So let's look at that finish. I'm, I'm here, right? I'm here with the top arm holding. It's gonna be hard to finish here. If I had to finish straight like that, I would put my, hand, my head on top and I would put pressure down in first and then apply. But if I can, I'd rather make a Y frame and swim through because now I'm tighter. Now look, one, two. My leg, my heels bite in, my knees pinch together. My elbow can't see it because it's her arm, but it's pinching down. Here, okay. Feel the difference, Heather? Yeah. This is my elbow not pinching down. I can hip forward all I want, nothing. I pinch down, she's almost ready to tap right here. Now when I pinch my, or when I drag my hips forward a little bit, there's an immediate tap. So, important point of note, legs are not arms. They don't sense movement the same way. They don't, sense, they don't have the same sensitivity of feeling. Um, they're completely different. So while I will jokingly say the knee is just the elbow of the leg, that's not true at all. Um, and the reason I bring this up is because sometimes our elbows are pretty flexible. And sometimes we let those go kind of far or you wait till you feel a little bit of pain and then you stop. That's not the best plan. Wait till you feel some tightness and then tap. Don't wait till it gets to pain. If you wait till it gets to pain, you're more likely to get hurt. Um, so that's just my two cents as a guy who's done it for 15 years and uh, has, has had an injury or two. Um, so let's see here. Do you guys want to see any of those again? I feel like I went real fast through at 11 o'clock. Justin, what's up? 
Yes, pinch the knees, Andrew. Great question. Andrew asked, should I pinch the knees there? Yes. Boom. Trying to scroll. Justin fell asleep at the pool. Good job. <laughs> Katie, Justin's always missing the warm-ups. Everybody's picking on Justin. It's hilarious. I'll wave at him. John Laporte. What is up? Just a point. Yes, so Cindy, I think you're asking about the uh, move. Let me be a little more specific as far as how I grab. So the question is, you just wrap their, their thigh, right? And that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep my hips as tight to hers as I can. That's why I don't want to roll forward away from her. Um, if I do, I'll end up like down on her shin with my hips, and I won't be able to apply pressure into the knee. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way. Actually, let's do it with your butt facing them because I think they'll be able to see my grip a little better. Fair? So how do we end up there? Um, this way. Okay. So as I go to roll through here, guys, and then we're in. Okay, so I, I just bring my arm through the middle there. Heather, you do it to me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Actually, let's start with the first one. Do the first one to me. So stay down. I'm here. You remember what you got to do? Uh -huh. Move the hip away. Uh -huh. Step back and base up. Nope, behind me, where it's easy to base. Yes, arm comes across. Rotate over this shin that way and pull me across. There it is. Sense. One more time. So get in a good turtle position. There we go. I'm here. I'm going to keep my weight kind of off of you so you can drill. Be careful bringing this in too early. Keep this over here until it's time. Extend the leg. Base. So when you base, stay bent. There. Now just base that behind me. You're, you're still beside. No. <laughs> These will stay down. Just move your leg. Yes, good. Now come up, wrap, and then fold. You fell a little bit towards your back, but overall not bad. Good work. All right. <clears throat> Next one, knee bar. <laughs> we'll do our best. So it'll be this arm coming through. Okay. All right. So I'm back here. Uh -huh. Go ahead, you roll, this arm comes through. Think about taking it between my legs. Now I'm grabbing it. You're grabbing my thigh. Mm -hmm. Yep, just roll. Okay. That's it, good. And now turn it this way, boom. Prop it up with your hand and you swim underneath it. This arm will swim through, tuck it into your armpit. Yes, now gently, hips, pinch the elbow, drive, tap, good, good. Everybody, let's give a uh, thumbs up to Heather. She did good there. Where are we at? Yo, you were talking about the first one. So no, you're not grabbing the thigh. You're grabbing around the waist. That's another great question. So Cindy, um, let's do the first one again. So after I base on here, I base, I go around her waist. Let's turn 90 degrees. Here, like this. If I grab her thighs, there's not as much leverage. That waist is right where her weight's gonna be centered, and it'll be a better tipping point. Get my knee walk workout in. What's up, Robbie Gorham? All right, tap early, tapped often. Okay, guys. So, did anybody have any questions on any move, anything? I'll give a minute for people to respond. What's up, David? I'm hitting the wave button. Every time you guys see me move closer, just know that I'm reading comments and interacting and stuff. So, any questions about the move? Any questions about anything? Dope! Robbie, you're hilarious, man. No? 
All right. Well, listen, guys, thanks for watching. Um, so that's tonight's class. Uh, I'm going to keep making these connections between our self-defense moves, self-defense moves, and our ground moves for the next couple weeks, probably. Um, I think it's really important to uh, understand that there is no self-defense in jiu-jitsu. It's just all jiu-jitsu, right? It's all just jiu-jitsu. Um, I think when you start to break it up as like, oh, that's a self-defense move, that's when you mentally start thinking of things in the wrong way. Certainly there are moves that can you, that I feel you can use just for sport. You know, a lot of the collar stuff or crazy things are very unlikely in a self-defense scenario. Um, whereas the basics and, you know, just the fundamental idea of control, maintain position, those things are much better for you in a self-defense scenario. You can just put a person on the ground and get away. You don't have to stay there and fight, right? When you, when you know jiu-jitsu, you get to choose how you grapple. When you don't know jiu-jitsu, I get to choose. So that, that's a really important thing to understand. But when you, when you start breaking it up into self-defense moves and jiu-jitsu moves, I don't know why people say that. I don't like that nomenclature. Um, I feel like that's a dangerous line to start crossing because then you start to look at those things as, oh, I don't need to understand those. I don't plan to get into any fights. I don't, you know, and that's fine. I'm glad you don't want to get into any fights. That's awesome. Um, that's a well-adjusted human being. But, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not always your choice whether, whether or not the fight starts. You know, they might just happen. You get to figure out how to end it. But um, just, to, just understand that, that if you're doing what's right for self-defense, you, you're probably doing what's right in a tournament as well. So think about that and uh, come up with some questions maybe to ask tomorrow. We'll be right back on at 6 p.m. What's that say? Replying to Laura Bias. Me too. This makes me want to be there even more. Oh, no. I love you guys. Um, thanks again for all the support. You guys are amazing. Um, every day, uh, you know, Kendall and, and Ed and I have been here. Uh, you can see, I say Kendall and Ed and I, I mean, they did most of it. No pictures on the walls anymore. It's all gone. Um, on its way to, to being ready for the new location. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, but, you know, we were talking today about how awesome it is of you guys to, to keep supporting the school um, during this tough time. So thank you so much for that. Nothing but love. And I know that Heather... You know, we're directly affected by more than just the school. It's like, it's how we feed our kids. So, uh, you know, I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later.